Dr. Tuck, um, Demetria Nagnus, 148 Cat Street. On number 10, um, discussion and action regarding working schedule and incorporating additional public participation for the comprehensive plan. Um, I think that's a great idea. Um, in our last discussion, when Mr. Bunsen was there, um, there were some new things brought up, the, the traffic and what plan A and B were and the upside and downside of those as well as what's the upside of C. And there was a few additional costs. I, a mailing to the public, I don't think digital all the time gets to all the people in Lake Geneva. I know my mom wouldn't see anything on digital. And if, in order to get the aldermen the proper information they need to get everyone's input on the plan for the city and the people of the city of Lake Geneva, I think that would be a great idea with um, getting more comments on what the people of Lake Geneva would like. Um, you know, I see the Roger Brooks, Brooks plan there, but nothing's really been talked about it publicly that, that I've uh, been to besides the presentation. Um, the traffic patterns. Um, and something interesting, you know, <clears throat> on that is if the property values and the businesses decrease on Wrigley Drive, that's, my attorney tells me I have to take a lawsuit on, a, on myself, the city of Lake Geneva, for devaluing the property and the business. So there's some other things in that plan that are being put on there that need to be investigated a little bit more. That's my opinion, and thank you for letting me speak this evening. I'm A17 Wisconsin Street. Um, I just wanted to make a comment regarding uh, item number 10 and our open house that we had last week. Um, I think it's important not only to have more discussion, as Dimitri said, about for the general public, but I took note that there were two plan commission members that were not at that open house. And as a matter of fact, those are the two newest plan commission members who, to my own knowledge, have not been to any of the open houses or the vision sessions. So I don't know how, unless they watched some of the city council and plan commission uh, reviewed the videos before how they would have a sense of what the citizens that came out to those meetings uh, had to say. So I think to take a vote, for instance, on Thursday with two of those plan commission members being so new and not having any history uh, uh, of what the public has been saying is quite inappropriate, so I hope that that vote does not happen. Thank you. Thank you. And I'll just make a note, we are allowing a certain amount of latitude since that really is a calendar issue, um, but, but we understand the, the passion that we have. So, thank you. Good evening, Mary Jo Fezenmeyer, 1085 South Lakeshore Drive. I, would, I too would like to address item number 10, but actually uh, um, I believe it's out of order. The timeline and all matters come from the plan commission. This should be an item that went to the plan commission and comes to you as a recommendation. Just scheduling it on the council agenda first is not in order. So I'm hoping someone will make a motion to send it to the plan commission to let them look at it first. They're the ones that basically own the comprehensive planning process and you're circumventing the process by uh, taking this item up first. They need to recommend always anything to do with comprehensive plan. So make sure, I know that the city attorney will of course find some reason to disagree, but it's the way it looks to the public that you keep circumventing the plan commission. So please um, support sending it back to them to look at uh, picking out dates and having that extra discussion that should be taking place. We've already pushed this back um, and there's no penalty. So push it back so that 
they have a say in it. And, and as Charlene mentioned, you've got some people that don't attend. So this gives the Planning Commission at a regular scheduled time to do that. Thank you. Good evening, Dick Melman, N1991 South Lakeshore Drive. Uh, I discovered something interesting, and it's the, I'm talking on number 10, and it's the Plan Commission Handbook. And it's the uh, Wisconsin version of the handbook, and it says some interesting things like conducting public hearings. It says public hearing requirements are intended to gather public input about important issues prior to government decisions. Prior to, yeah, did I say prior? Yeah, prior to government decisions. Plan commissions hold public hearings when developing recommendation for the adoption or amendment of the Community Comprehensive Plans and Land Use Ordinances. Um, I don't think they've had a public hearing at the Plan Commission. And the only one I see is after, and that's the horse is out of the barn by then. Uh, some of the other interesting things in the uh, Plan Commission Handbook. It says, of course, they're uh, charged with the legislation, legislative function of preparing the comprehensive plan. And uh, it's their primary role uh, to include uh, citizens be in the planning uh, because that allows a community to identify, preserve, and build upon the defining features of the community. I think they mean the community character, what character the people want to preserve. And I think that's an important part of the, uh, the comprehensive plan and, and uh, I hope it doesn't get, get taken out. Uh, it also says that planning protects natural and historic resources and sites which are irreplaceable. Now, I didn't write that. That's in the book. Uh, and I'll be happy to send it to anybody who wants to see it. Um, it says the responsibility is to include the whole community in planning, works, and preparation of the uh, comprehensive plan. Uh, says that the people are the experts in the community because they live there, they're there all the time, and they greatly outnumber the representatives. Uh, I think some of those very same things are in the uh, uh, in our own guide for comprehensive planning. Uh, uh, yeah, it, it's basically the very same things uh, because the defining characteristic of the comprehensive plan is civic engagement and that's public participation in deciding what the vision is, the goals and policies and future of the city. That's the public's view. That's what the public, it's their vision. It's not the mayor's vision. It's the people's vision. Now, I know you think you know best because uh, I don't know why, but you do. Um, but it, that isn't what you're supposed to do as an elected democratic representative of the people. You are supposed to uh, uh, work for them and do their work, not the, not the 
uh, Tom Hart's work or anybody else's. It's the people's agenda. So please keep that in mind. Thank you. Thank you as always, Mr. Mumman. Anybody else?